if uh, you stick around to the end, um, even if you do not win, we do give out a secondary prize uh, for best team name. So that's like any of the smaller prizes. So like um, the little plushies down there that we got for Z5, any of the basketball sets, um, we got for kites. And we got a little uh, um, bigger for G on this wall down here. So like, any, everyone on the team that has the best team name, Crystal gets to choose the team who wins that, but um, that's our secondary prize. So like, um, it's so fun. And even if you don't think you're doing well, uh, stick around to the end, because we ran this panel at Babscon, and one of the teams was like dominating throughout. They were up by like four or five points going into the last round. They dropped a third. So, yeah, you never quite know how it's all going to shake out. Hello, everybody. Hi. Hello. Can we reiterate what's, what is not a prize? This uh, is not, okay, so this is mine. This is mine. <laughs> <laughs> um, everything else, pretty much, yeah. What about the microphone? No, the kids are Oh, oh, the kids so just so you know, we go to convention okay. all over the country and I collect every convention map that I can get my hands on. Really? Okay, so I bought one from Britannia for like three hundred dollars. <laughs> yeah. It was at the charity auction where like we tried getting one online, they're like, we don't sell them online, so you have to go to the convention, and we saw one at the cherry auction at that, so. Okay. Bat Kenya. Bat Kenya, yeah, it was a bat pony over Kenya. Okay, so yeah, um, Glimmer and uh, Zip are not prizes. The laptop's not a prize. Uh, the ABX equipment is a prize. Honestly, apparently, uh, apparently we do have, yeah, we do have one of these yeah, at home, I did not realize. So yes, the kitty cat is actually eligible as a prize. It is the last one. Yes. 20 of these. And it was like, they're like, why do you want 20? I'm like, because I need con prizes. Yeah. But yeah, we got a build a bear of uh, Fluttershy and Rainbow Dash are still left. Um, that we've been at around forever. So you too can have your own very basketball hoop from Jay. Who's having fun? Who's having fun? Who's having fun? Who's having fun? Woo! Woo! Is this um, anybody's first Windy City? Woo! Oh, oh wow. Thank you. Thank you so much for joining this panel. What is this panel? Like, he told me the other day how many times oh, we've done this. Yeah, uh, we've been doing this since uh, 2016. Cider yeah. Fest was our first panel, so. Yeah. Um, I can't remember how many we've done. It was over 20. Yeah, it's like 20 some that we've done so far. So. And we love this panel. Yeah. <laughs> um, okay, I feel like I'm forgetting something else. So, do you have social media? Yes. 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 <laughs> so, we have a Pony Show trivia page on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter. Yeah, that's all we have right now. And I have a YouTube channel, and I'm allowing you to go to my YouTube channel and follow my blog because I'm close to 800 subscribers right now. It makes me want to cry. But yeah. uh, do y'all have MySpace? Huh? No, I no, don't have MySpace. <laughs> Challenge accepted. I'm going to work on that. <laughs> all right. Um, I think that kind of covers everything. Uh, We're ready to play. All right. So who's ready? Woo! <laughs> oh yeah, uh, the last thing I was going to say, um, I suggest you take a moment and just write your team name on all of the answer sheets, just so that we don't forget when we get to like round four or five, um, just make sure it's like, we don't get any of that, uh, our missing names. Hi, new friends, come on in! Hi, uh, we haven't started, we're just about to start, if you want to join yet, there's still Yay! time! If you want to join, uh, come on up, uh, grab a clipboard and an answer sheet. And uh, they have a cool team name, and uh, oh yeah, grab a pen. Well, I, I welcome you all to Windy City. I hope I see you all at Cider Fest. That's actually our hometown college. We are from Milwaukee, so yeah. We just do a hop, skip, and a jump, and we're at the con. And we love going to the trot con, like, they're not the trot con. What is that the thing? Pub trot? Yeah, the pub so, trot. Yeah, the pub trot center fest is all fun. Um, okay, so let's get started. The first round uh, is always a uh, general uh, general knowledge, and it's just kind of supposed to be the easiest round of the panel. 
just kind of get you thinking about pony. So, already thinking about pony. Yeah, <laughs> even more than you already do. <laughs> All right, and uh, um, oh yeah, when you uh, when you're discussing the questions, um, try not to let other teams uh, over here. So I guess keep it, be great, keep it safe, yeah. and do not shout out the answers. Oh my goodness, we yeah. didn't have a freebie last time. Yeah, without fail. And we have a musical artist in the room who's excited for the con. And the luau. I think that's Thrush. Isn't that Thrush? No? Okay. Aren't you Thrush? No. Thrush? Yeah, that's Thrush. I'm Thrush. Well, I'm Jack, so. Nice to meet you, Dad. Okay, yeah, cool. <laughs> I'm looking forward to your concert, so Thank that'll you. be fun. Dancers here too. Yay! Oh, hey, Angel, thanks Good for coming. Actually, this is our whole band. Sorry. <laughs> oh, awesome. Do you guys want to shout out when your concert is tonight or tomorrow? Tomorrow night, 7 p.m. Yeah. Tomorrow night, 7 p.m. We're gonna get down. Yeah. Right. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
does Rarity select for her fashion show because of her practicality? Guys, it was the Lady Gaga and Coco Chanel love track. <laughs> <laughs> right. from, uh, from Rick's, yeah, or no, question number eight. All right. Who volunteers to be Rainbow Dash's assistant coach for the cheer squad? Question number eight, who volunteers to be Rainbow Dash's assistant for the cheer squad? It's been a little bit trickier now. I think it was Fluttershy, guys. I mean, that's an alicorn. <laughs> <laughs> Question number nine. Which pony wants to call off the stakeout at Sweet Apple's a at Sweet Apple Acres because she's really hungry? Question number nine: Which pony wants to call off the stakeout at Sweet Apple Acres because she's really hungry? Right. Last, last question for the first round. See how good you know your pinky sense. What does it mean when Pinky's tail is twitching? Question number 10, what does it mean when Pinky's tail is twitching? Okay. All right, if you're feeling good about your answers, or even if you're not, let's uh, have somebody bring them on up. <laughs> All right, do we have everybody's answer sheets for round one? Last call. Okay, if you know the answers, uh, we'll go to the questions while uh, she works on scoring us. Feel free to start out this time. So, who, which pony uses a mirror pool to duplicate herself so she doesn't miss out on any fun? Pinkie Pie. Pinkie Pie. Pinkie Pie. Yep. All right, question number two. When the main six first go to Starlight's Village, which cutie mark do all the ponies have? Equal, equal signs. Sign. Yeah, equal signs is right. Question number three. Which ponies end up at Glad Main's Hotel in the... Matt call, sends them to Las Pegasus. Fluttershy, Fluttershy and Applejack. Yeah, Applejack and Fluttershy, yo. Question number oh, four. Which pet of the main six hibernates? Tank. Tank, Tank is correct. Yep. Question number five. Who does Twilight Sparkle dress up as during the first nightmare night after Luna's return? Star Star's World Bearded. Bearded. Yep, Star's World of Bearded. Question number six, when the Yaks first come to Ponyville to visit, who does Twilight ask to show them around? Pinkie Pie! Pinkie Pie. Pinkie Pie. Oh, yes. <laughs> Question number seven, who judges, which judge does Rarity select for her fashion show because of her practicality? Applejack. That was Applejack. Question number eight, who volunteers to be Rainbow Dash's assistant coach for the cheer squad? Snips. It was Snips. <laughs> Question number nine. Which pony wants to call off the stakeout at Sweet Apple Acres because she's really Let's hungry? <laughs> that was Fluttershy. Because she's turned into Flutterbat. Wait, so does Flutterbat count as an answer? Uh, yeah, I, I would take Flutterbat. Yes! 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 Yes
Sandbar, Garble, um, Dota Joe, and I think there's a couple others in here as well. It's on our Facebook page, we announced it, and then somebody corrected us and pointed out the movie guy? What was it? Flash Flash All right. So question number one, round two, the character round. What did Garble stop doing after Smolder left for Twilight's Friendship School? So question number one, what did Garble stop doing after Smolder left for Twilight's Friendship School? Did anybody attend the voice actor like panel before this? Yeah, he talked a little bit about the panel. Yeah. Yeah, question number two. What is Donut Joe's entry into the National Dessert Competition? So question number two, what is Donut Joe's entry into the National Dessert Competition? Yes, it actually has a name. We're looking for the name. Oh my god, fuck, just happening. I see this guy, his head's already exploding. <laughs> <laughs> it's okay. My head explodes all the time. <laughs> Alright. Question number three. What artifact does Garble use as a gorge surfing board? So this is, so question three, which artifact does Garble use as a gorge surfing board? Now, if you get like the general gist of like, if you put down what the artifact was, you'll get a point. It has a specific name that's mentioned in the series. If you get the specific name, you'll get two points. All right, question number four. Who does Sandbar play in the Friendship School's play for Celestia's one anniversary? Question number four. Who does Sandbar play in the Friendship School's play for Celestia's one anniversary? I knew this one. <laughs> yeah, I was actually surprised. <laughs> uh, question number five. What title does Garble give Spike after he belly flops in the Lava Cannonball competition? So what title does Garble give Spike after he belly flops in the Lava Cannonball competition? Question number six. Which two ponies does Sandbar encounter in the caves beneath the Friendship School? So question number six, which two ponies does Sandbar encounter in the caves beneath the Friendship School? So all the students six get tested and Sandbar sees these two ponies. Again, each pony is worth one point, so only put two ponies. Uh, just context. Uh, there could be two sets of answers for that question. Only two? No, there could be two sets of answers for that question. Ooh. He just made Fox break out. Yeah, like. <laughs> he write a detailed explanation, man. He's off to the Google. Break it out. I love it. I'm the copy. Yeah, for context, it was the episode where they were being where like the main six are being tested and encountering their fears. So yeah, I, 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 it took me a while but I realized what you meant. Yeah. You know. Is it school to fuck me? Oh. I never get to do that. Thank you. Yeah, it was when the trio of friendship was testing them. Yeah, I remember that. Would this be part of the season that I'm saving until I die? Yes. <laughs> yeah. Was, uh, yeah. She still hasn't seen everything from season eight or nine. I watched the finale. That was pretty much it. <laughs> Question number seven. What scares Featherbangs almost as much as loneliness? Question number seven. Yeah. What scares Featherbangs almost as much as loneliness? 
Yeah, this is one where we're going over to like that is I like literally that see your wheel turning in your head here. Like it <laughs> I wonder if Vincent would know the answer to all these questions. You didn't even remember like <laughs> okay, question number eight. Now, this is actually my favorite question of the whole panel when I was putting this together, just because like I already watched this episode and it's still made me laugh. What does Sandbar throw at Apple Bloom's window once he runs out of apples? Oh my god. Question number eight. What does Sandbar throw at Apple Bloom's window once he runs out of apples. I was so confused. I'm like, why Why is Sandbar throwing anything at Apple Bloom's window? And how does he what? run out of apples? <laughs> yeah. That's just bad yeah. on. Yeah. Only Sandbar could run out of apples. That's <laughs> <laughs> Question number nine. What does Sandbar want to do to memorialize the Tree of Harmony? So question number nine, what does Sandbar want to do to memorialize the Tree of Harmony? Okay. Last question for round two. All characters of Vincent Tong. Here's one that we haven't had yet. What, what flower does Prince Blue Blood say really goes with his eyes? Question number 10, what flower does Prince Blue Blood say really goes with his eyes? Is it one that he was going to give to Rarity thought he was going to give to her? Hi. You're welcome to join a team if there's anybody that has substances. If you want, we are only on round two. If you want to run up here, we can do a lightning round with you. Otherwise, you can just hang out. Okay. Okay, let's see how you did. So, question number one from round two. What did Garble stop doing after Smolder left for Twilight's Friendship School? Poetry? Yeah, poetry. So anything with poetry. Good. Question number two. What is Donut Cho's entry into the National Dessert Competition? Donutopia. Donutopia. Yep. Question number three. What artifact does Garble use as a gorge surfing board? Shield. Yep. Flash Magnus the Shield got one point. Did anybody know the name of the shield? What? No. The name of the shield? Yeah, Ned Titus was the name of the shield. It has a name? Yes. Uh, no, spelling does not count. Question number four. Who does Sandbar play in the French and Schools play for Celestia's once versary? Stars World. Stars World the Bearded. Question number five. What title does Garble give Spike after he belly flops in the lava cannonball competition? Tough Little Dragon. He was a rookie dragon. Oh, it's a rookie dragon. Yeah, rookie dragon. <laughs> Question number six. Which two ponies the Sandbar and Connor in the caves beneath the Friendship School? And we're looking for the one where the Friendship, the Tree of Harmony was testing them. So the two ponies? Rarity and Rainbow Dash? Yes, it was Rarity and Rainbow Dash. Question number seven. What scares Featherbangs almost as much as loneliness? Rejection! Uh, Talking to ponies. Hello? Hello? Same thing! Same thing! Same thing! No, it's not! I was talking to bears. I can't take the mares or girls. Yeah, talking to girls, talking to mares, we took those as well. But as long as it was like talking or communicating. Yeah. Question number eight. What does Sandbar throw at Apple Bloom's window once he runs out of apples? A rock? No! It was a watering can. What the fuck? Oh my god! Hey, That's dedication to pay attention. Yeah. Question number nine. What does Sandbar want to do to memorialize the Tree of Harmony? Treehouse. Uh, that was Yona. Yeah, oh. Yona wanted to do the treehouse. Sandbar wanted to plant a new tree. And finally, question number 10. What flower does Prince Blue Blood say it really goes with his eyes? Rose? It was a rose. <laughs> there was a possibility of 12 points in this round because if you named the shield, and the name of the shield, and then the other one was uh, the, two the two characters. Ponies, yeah. Okay.
we have uh, Sleepy Beans, uh, formerly Hat, with 17 points, followed uh, by Diamond Thieves, Team Tricksters, something, 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 Glimmer, all with 18 points, followed by, in second place, Snooty Snarky Daters with 20 points, and Clip Trotters currently has 22 points. All right, so <laughs> for round three, like you can't get, like there wasn't enough content with specifically tropical getaways, so I made it more generic, and it's vacations. Oh, okay. oh vacations. Did you recycle this round? Uh, no, actually, I didn't. Oh, I don't recycle rounds. But yeah, it's vacations, travel, clothing, <laughs> just like related to that. All right, so. Is right. everybody having a good vacation? Yeah. Yay! Yay! I played in the beach. Yeah. <laughs> Question number one, round three. What does Apple Bloom drop from the raft while going to see Goldie Delicious with her family and Pinky? Question number one, round three. What does Apple Bloom drop from the raft while going to see Goldie Bloom Delicious with her family and Pinky? Does anybody still have a team with open slots? Say no. Maybe not. Hi! You could still take home the whole thing. I don't know if you have a really cool team name. Yeah, we do get prizes for best team name if you want to join and grab a clipboard at the back. I appreciate okay. you coming well, to Thanks for stopping by. Subscribe to our Facebook! Like and subscribe. We're Pony Show Trivia on Facebook. Do we get double points if we like and subscribe to all of them? <laughs> yeah, that too. <laughs> <laughs> all right. no. Also, our YouTube is called Ability to Be Awesome. Yeah, she does the YouTube stuff, so. We blog. <laughs> yeah. Uh, okay, question. <laughs> back to what we're here for. <laughs> question number two. Uh, Plugging my channel? Yeah. <laughs> I'm only allowing this because I'm always a pit Question number two: When the gold, the gold horseshoe gals spend a weekend every year in which city? Question number two: The gold horseshoe gals spend a weekend every year in which city? I'm sad. It's been a decade since we've been in the city. True. It just came up in the timeline. I was sad. <laughs> Can I say something? Did y'all not notice in that episode that the pony ushering the hot air balloon was an album form? Did I notice that? It bothers me. I didn't. Who's the fifth princess? I swear. <laughs> 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 that's, 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 Great, now I'm going to be watching that episode later today. Yes! <laughs> oh, question, number three. question number three. Who first takes the Crusaders to the Crystal Empire? Question number three. Who first takes the Crusaders to the Crystal Empire? These are the questions you would ask. Sorry, we gave you a shot. Okay, question number four. <laughs> when, when Rarity, Applejack, and Pinkie Pie go on a boat trip, who does Pinkie Pie blame for sinking the boat? So, question number four. When Rarity, Applejack, and Pinkie Pie go on a boat trip, who does Pinkie Pie blame for sinking the boat? Uh, it, it still bothers me that DWK's recap was better than the actual episode. <laughs> they usually are. Is he still making videos? He's got a different channel. He doesn't do All right, question number five. Who does Princess Luna send a postcard to while on vacation with her sister? Question number five. Who does Princess Luna send a postcard to while on vacation with her sister? All right, question number six. Where do the Cutie Mark Crusaders, Applejack, Rarity, and Rainbow Dash go to on their first camping trip together. So I'm looking for where they end up at the end of their camping trip. 
So, question number six, where did the Cutie Mark Crusaders, Applejack, Rarity, and Rainbow Dash go on their first camping trip together? So looking for their, their destination. All right, question number seven. When Pinkie Pie goes to the store to get a rock pouch for Maude, the store is closed because the owner took a sudden vacation to which city? Question number seven. When Pinkie Pie goes to the store to get a rock pouch for Maude, the store is closed because the owner took a sudden vacation to which city? All right, question number eight. Where do the main six travel so Applejack can gift an apple tree to her relatives? Question number eight. Where do the main six travel so Applejack can gift an apple tree to her relatives? I expect everyone to get this one this week. All right, question number nine. What does Starlight give to Twilight when she leaves with the rest of the main six for a friendship retreat? So question number nine, what does Starlight give to Twilight when she leaves with the rest of the main six for a friendship retreat? It wasn't gonna be tea cakes until Trixie got involved. <laughs> All right, question number 10, last question, round three, vacations. A tourist visiting Ponyville accidentally causes which pony to drop her mail in a puddle? So question number 10, a tourist visiting Ponyville accidentally causes which pony to drop her mail in a puddle? Can't get me a hint on this one, I'll just give it away. Are you asking who the tourist was? I'm asking who dropped the mail, not okay. who the tourist was. Okay, so um, round three vacations. Okay, question number one. What does Apple Bloom drop from the raft while going to to see Goldie Delicious with her family and Pinky? The map. The map. The map. Yep, she uses the map. <laughs> yep. Question number two, the Gold Horseshoe Gals spend a weekend every year in which city? Las Pegasus. Las Pegasus, Las Pegasus. yep. Yeah. Question number three, who first takes the Crusaders to the Crystal Empire? Spike. What? That was Spike. Yes. Yes. Question number four, <laughs> kind of 50-50, so, oh, maybe. Uh, depends on how much you thought about it. But when Rarity, Applejack, and Pinkie Pie go on a boat, boat trip, who does Pinkie Pie blame for sinking the boat? Rarity. Rarity. Yep. Question number. Question five. Who does Princess Luna send a postcard to while on vacation with her sister? Celestia. Celestia. I love that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. It was so funny. Yeah. 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 Question number six. Where do the Kitty Mark Crusaders, Applejack, Rarity, and Rainbow Dash go on their first camping trip together. Winsome they were, Falls? They were headed Falls? to Winsome Falls. Oh, is Winsome like close enough? Okay. Good enough. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yes. I did not like Rainbow Falls though. Yeah, they, they did say Winsome Falls in the episode, so that's what we were looking for. Gravity Falls, that'd be awesome. Question number seven. <laughs> When Pinkie Pie goes to the store to get a rock pouch for Maude, the store is closed because the owner took a sudden vacation to which city? Philadelphia? Nope. It was Canterlot. Dang it! Oh, sorry! Oh, sorry. Oh, sorry. Oh, sorry. Oh, I knew it was to be the round of the it was Canterlot. I was like, 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 I was all together now. Where do the main six travel so Applejack can get an apple tree to her relatives? Question number nine. What does Starlight give to Twilight when she leaves with the rest of the main six on a friendship retreat? Pretzels! Pretzels, that's correct. And finally, last question. A tourist visiting Ponyville accidentally causes which pony to drop her mail in a puddle? Fluttershy. Fluttershy. That was Fluttershy. And she was doing a little seven hours. That's okay. That's okay. You got it.
all did very well on this round. Like, I'm very impressed. All right, so we got three rounds down, two to go. The standing so far are uh, something, something, something glimmer with 24 points. Then we have a tie at 25 points between Sleepy Beans and Tina Tricksters. And then uh, in third place, we have Diamond Thieves with 27 points, followed by Snooty Snarky Vaders with 29 points. And uh, in first place, with a perfect score so far, 32 points, Clip Trotters. And wait, actually, did they miss one? Uh, they did miss one. Okay, never mind. But still, like, that's the, like, Really well done so far, so I'm, I'm impressed. <laughs> so, um, calling on round four, you can't go on a vacation unless you have a job. <laughs> oh, 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 that's We're cold. in the car, and yeah. you just lying with me. I'm like, are you for real? Man? Yeah, yeah. She was my test audience for that one, I'm sorry. I should have known better. But yeah, round four is jobs that the ponies have. So, all about jobs. And they really do have jobs. Yes, they do. So crazy. Yeah, question number one. Which of the main six is the first to take a job at Cherry Hill Ranch? Round four, question number one. Which of the main six is the first to take a job at Cherry Hill Ranch? Question number two. Who gives Spike an extra strength hot stone deep tissue massage? Question number two. Who gives Spike an extra strength hot stone deep tissue massage? Question number three. What title does Mayor Mayor bestow upon Twilight after her first winter wrap-up in Ponyville. Question number three, what title does Mayor Mayor bestow upon Twilight after her first winter wrap-up in Ponyville? They butchered that thong at BabCon. Oh. oh my god, did they butcher that thong? Yeah. I haven't been to BabCon. Question number four. <laughs> Which food critic is known as the queen of cuisine in Canterlot? Question number four. Which food critic is known as the queen of cuisine in Canterlot? Games. Question number five. What job does Princess Cadence ask Spike to do at the Equestria Games? Question number six. Our next question. Before becoming an artist, Spearhead became friends with Shining Armor while doing what job? So question number six. Before becoming an artist, Spearhead became friends with Shining Armor while doing what job? I totally got this one. Yeah, she used the context to do this. All 
All right, question number seven. <laughs> Who does Fluttershy say is the best vet pony in Equestria? Question number seven. Who does Fluttershy say is the best vet pony in Equestria? <laughs> does Starlight give Trixie when she takes over as head mayor at the School of Friendship? So question eight. What position does Starlight give Trixie when she takes over as head mayor at the School of Friendship? Wait, Trixie had this job? <laughs> yeah. Yes. It makes so much sense. sense. Yeah. It's, uh, yeah, it's the school of I feel insulted for my profession. Wait, is that your profession? Sort of, yeah. It's what I want to do. Question number nine. Who does Zephyr Breeze get to clean the windows in the castle? Question number nine, who does Zephyr Breeze get to clean the windows in the castle? Go with your gut. If I can figure this out, you can too. <laughs> All right, last question, round four. Once you're done with your job, you eventually get to retire, so. Where do Princess Celestia and Princess Luna move after retiring? Very last episode. Where do Princess Celestia and Princess Luna move after retiring? You know, Fox and me often talk about how we want to retire. We have very different ideas of what retirement looks like. Like, I imagine Fox and my kitty cat and a cup of tea. Fox wants to ride the rails around Australia. Yeah. <laughs> so you sound like Celestia and Luna. Yeah. <laughs> it's like, I think of that for a month or two, and I'm like, how about a few tears? All right, question number one from round four. Which of the main six is the first to take a job at Cherry Hill Ranch? Applejack. Yeah, Applejack. Applejack, yeah. Question number two, who gives Spike an extra strength, hot, stone, deep tissue massage? Both biceps. Both biceps. Yeah. 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 Question number three, what title does Mayor Mayor bestow upon Twilight after her first winter wrap up? Organizer. Organizer. Yeah. organizer, all team organizer. Question number four, which fruit critic is known as a queen of cuisine? Zesty Gourmand. Yeah, Zesty Gourmand. Yeah. Oh. I knew it, I knew it. Question number five, what job is Princess Cadence give Spike to do at the Questria Games? Light the torch. Light the torch. Light the torch. Light the torch. Yep. Question number six. People, a lot of people wrote this firework too. What's the deal with that? Katie's asked for fireworks. Katie's asked for fireworks. We wrote like that. Well, the head of the, the, head of the games committee is going to spike the light torch. You can't do it. So, Kate, okay, at the end of the episode, asks. Oh, yeah, okay. Fireworks. Okay, fine. We will take fireworks as well. I mean, it was because Kidding's asked for. If we said, oh, can we get a double? <laughs> no, because <laughs> no, like, like, no, I don't know. 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 Cadence says at the beginning, though, it would be no, Yeah, Cadence is the one that does ask at the beginning. The um, Miss Harshwini gives them the directions at the actual ceremony, but Cadence was the one that did initially ask him to light the torch. Above my pay grade. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs>
Before becoming an artist, Spearhead became friends with Shining Harbor while doing what job? Guarding the castle? It was Guard. Royal Guard. So, yeah. so we wrote I Guard. Guard. Yeah, anything was Guard. The castle yeah. Guard. Anything that sounded like Guard. <laughs> Question number seven. Who does Fluttershy say is best vet pony in Equestria? Dr. Fauna? It was Dr. Fauna. Yes! Oh my God. Let's go, bro! Question number eight. What position does Starlight give Trixie when she takes over as head mayor of the School of Friendship? Counselor. Yep, student counselor. So wrong. Yeah. The best counselor <laughs> <I've heard laughs> <to me. laughs> Question nine. Who does Zephyr Breeze get to clean the windows at the castle? Spike. Spike. Yep. He also helps her sister Spike. Where do, and finally, where do Princess Celestia and Princess Luna move after retiring? Las Vegas. So, Silver Shoals. Oh. Someone got it? There were a lot of 10 out of 10, and I would fight for us. We got one more round to go. Let's see where you guys stand now. So, we have uh, the Sleepy Beans and something, 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 something glimmer uh, tied with 34 points, followed by Team Tricksters with 35. In third place, Diamond Thieves have 36 points. Snooty Snarky Vaders have 38 points in second place, and uh, in first place right now is Clip Trotters with 42 points. So very close. Yeah. yeah. So remember, you can have a repeat of uh, Babscon. Like, like I said, we did go into the fifth round with the team leading by four, and they dropped a third in the last round. So. Do you even have a tie with your question? Yes. <laughs> All right, last round. It's another general trivia round, but I try to make it the most difficult of the panel, so I just call it my brain is full of pony. Is it possible to maybe wait like an extra 10 seconds? Sure. <laughs> I will say, I actually think like uh, the Benson Tong round, I think was the hardest one for this, so. <laughs> But we'll see. We'll see how you guys go on this one. But everybody's having fun. Yeah. Yeah. Anybody awesome. coming to TrotCon? <laughs> awesome. <laughs> we will be there. All right. Last round. Question number one. What grade does Scootaloo receive on her Rainbow Dash book re on her Rainbow Dash report? Question number one, what grade does Scootaloo receive on her Rainbow Dash report? She probably should have included that happy sandwich. Maybe she thought she had been an extra message. Oh. <laughs> All right, uh, question number two. <laughs> when the main six and Maud played camouflage with Boulder, where was Boulder hiding? Question number two. When the main six and Maude play camouflage with Boulder, where was Boulder hiding? Question number three. Who tells Silver Stream to go home for the spring solstice? Question number three. Who tells Silver Stream to go home for the spring solstice? I don't like it. Okay, question four. Why? It's only day one. <laughs> I know. <laughs> this is like the third panel of the day. Okay, question number four. Why do the main six gather at Rarity's Boutique the morning after the Tantibus escapes? Question number four. Why do the main six gather at Rarity's Boutique the morning after the Tantibus escapes? Question number five. What does Rainbow Dash take to the Rainbow Falls Exchange in hopes of exchanging it for the first edition of Daring Do and the Sapphire Statue? Question number five. What does Rainbow Dash take to the Rainbow Falls Exchange in hopes of exchanging it for the first edition of Daring Do and the Sapphire Statue? <laughs> She, she overvalued it a bit. 
Yeah, that's again, that's question number five. What does Rainbow Dash take to the Rainbow Falls Exchange in hopes of exchanging it for the first for a first edition of Daring View and the Sapphire Statue? Question number six. Rarity designs a new gown for the opening of her Canterlot boutique that is inspired by a window in Canterlot Castle commemorating what event? <laughs> so, I will read it a couple more times because that's a long one. Rarity designs a new gown for the opening of her Canterlot boutique that is inspired by a window in Canterlot Castle commemorating what event? So again, that was question six. Looking for the event that inspired the window that inspired Rarity. So Rarity designs a new gown for the opening of her Canterlot boutique that is inspired by a window in Canterlot Castle commemorating what event? Yeah, that one's like... Question seven, what animal eats the keys to the supply closet while Angel is trying to do Fluttershy's chores? You can get two points in this. Yeah, so if you know what type of animal it is, you get one point. We will give you two points if you also put the name. So you have to have both to get both points. So we're looking for the type of animal and the name. So what animal eats the keys to the supply closet while Angel is trying to do Fluttershy's chores? And we're giving full points because we are not doing half points. Yeah. Yeah, we don't do half points. We would have had a team win by point three three three. I don't even know. It was ridiculous. But yeah, we're looking for what, what was the species of animal and the animal name. Question number eight. After telling her to never tell another pony, what does Trixie confess to Starlight? Question number eight. After telling her to never tell another pony, what does Trixie confess to Starlight? You know what? I take it back. She'd be an animal guy. Chuck. You want me. But I still think her needs to go in the fire with the muscles. Trixie did nothing wrong. Trixie deserved to go in my fire. Trixie did nothing wrong. Are we good? Yeah. Question number nine. What is Rainbow Dash's time on the Dizatron? Question number nine. What is Rainbow Dash's time on the Dizatron? Oh, that's where she gets strapped in. All right, last question, and this one is also worth two points because we're looking for two names. And uh, each of these ponies has multiple names that we will take. As long as you have one of them, that's right, just put, only put one of them because I don't want to read like five names and have to figure out what to do with it. So only put two names, please. Which ponies put up a banner that says, Welcome Princess Celeste ahead of Celestia's visit to Ponyville. Question number 10. Which ponies put up a banner that says, Welcome Princess Celeste ahead of Celestia's visit to Ponyville? Okay, let's see how it gets so, question one, what grade does Scootaloo receive on her Rainbow Dash report? A B. She gets a B on the report. A B. Yeah. Question number two, when the main six and Maude play camouflage with Boulder, where was Boulder hiding? In Maude's pocket. Yup, it was a uh, hidden Maude's pocket. So really good. Question number four, three, who tells Silverstream to go home for the spring solstice? Twilight? It was Starlight Glimmer, oh. also known as Best Pony. They both say Twilight. For anyone that's been on the before, you know that there's always one for Starlight Glimmer the second season Best Pony. Question number four. Um, 
Why do the main six gather at Rarity's Boutique the morning after the tantrum bus escapes? Uh, because they were washing their pets. Yeah, it was their pet grooming day, so anything with like grooming their pets, washing their pets, yeah. Okay. And question number five. What does Rainbow Dash take to the Rainbow Falls Exchange in hopes of exchanging it for the first edition of their new statue? Yeah. She lucky took her lucky horseshoe. Yeah. Yeah. Right. Question number six. Rarity designs a new gown for the opening at, of her Canterlot boutique that is inspired by a window in Canterlot Castle commemorating what Twilight's, Twilight's coronation? It was Twilight's coronation. Yeah. 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 So Okay. So question number seven. What animal eats the keys for the supply closet while Angel is trying to do fluttershy stores? Elephant and snake? Uh, well, we were looking for uh, elephants. The elephant ate the keys. The snake ate the elephant. But we are looking for the elephant specifically. If you had the elephant's name, it was Muriel. <laughs> Uh, question number eight. After telling her to never tell another pony, what does Trixie confess to Starlight? That even Trixie made mistakes? Yes, even yes. Trixie made mistakes. Yes, I do. And question nine. What is Rainbow Dash's time on the Dizzatron? 20 six. seconds. Six. With six seconds. <laughs> he Googled it. He Googled it. <laughs> question number ten. Which ponies put up a banner that say, Welcome Princess Celeste ahead of Celestia's visit to Ponyville? Bonbon bon and Lyra? Oh. I heard one of them, oh one of them was Carrot Top. Oh. We also took Golden Harvest, because that's another name that she was giving. The other pony we were looking for was Berry Punch. Oh. So like, for best team name, this convention, Crystal has picked Team Tricksters yeah. for that team yeah. name. So Team Tricksters, come on up, grab uh, one of the smaller prizes. This um, side. Yeah, th this side. Was, she'll drop you. In third place, we have something, 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 something. Glimmer. Also best for me. 44 points. In second place, Snooty Starkey Vaders with 46. And that means our Winnie City 2023 Pony Show Trivia winners are Cliff Trotters with 51 points. Whoa. So congratulations to Cliff Trotters. Um, if you wanna, everyone from Cliff Trotters, come on up and uh, pick out a prize. Thank you all for coming. If you could take a second and help put the chairs back in rows before you leave, it would be much appreciated. Thank you all and uh, enjoy the rest of your convention. Have fun, be safe. Thank you, supervisor. That would be perfect. I wish. I don't think they ate it. Yes, they do. Well, we saw the giant one that was for 600 and something dollars. Oh, yeah, the giant. Like, oh, my God. Oh, yeah, like, like something like this. Oh, yeah. yeah I see, I've seen it, but it's like part of a set. I don't know. I went to Myers and they had a 25% off sale, so I just started grabbing everything and jumping into my car. <laughs> like yeah. $450 later. <laughs> Hang on. So nobody took it. <laughs> I'm sorry, you're not impressed with you you could take the cat. It's the last cat. It's the trap con mascot. Oh jeez, really? Yeah. I wanted one of those, but they kept throwing them away from me. Throwing them away? Yeah, because they would throw them into the uh, Oh, oh yeah. Yeah, yeah. every time they would throw it in a different direction. I mean mascots are hard to get sometimes. Like my collection's getting insane. I just paid oh, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I'm pretty picky for Batania or something. Yeah, absolutely. Okay, yeah, this is coming with me then. Okay, thank awesome. you. Enjoy. No, she's got a good Yeah, thanks for coming. That happens. Oh. <laughs> thanks. You're welcome. We did it! Yay! <laughs> if you're enjoying this vlog, feel free to like, comment, and subscribe.